everyone. So today I am back doing crafting and it's been a while. It's been a good two months since I've even came into this room to film anything or even craft anything at all. So I might be a little bit rusty. My thoughts might be a little jumbled, but um, hopefully what I have planned out will turn out in the end. So if you want to see what we are making, or what I'm making today, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing is first, I have this picture frame that I've had for a while and it kind of has like that shiplap feel to it. And it was already on this board. So I know that you can get, uh, Hobby Lobby has some of these uh, craft papers. And they're like 25 cents, 50 cents, 25 cents, I think. I'm pretty sure. But you can pick up um, these kinds of papers and just glue it to the back of a picture frame if you wanted to. But, shoot, hold on, let me. Okay, I printed out this paper on some cardstock. It has a little tear in it already, but oh well. Um, it's the Old Rugged Cross. And I have this branch that I kind of want to make across or make a cross out of it so when it all comes together fingers crossed it looks cool i saw this on pinterest i'm not totally sure who to give credit to on this but i did see it on pinterest so thank you pinterest but anyways so you're gonna you can use a picture frame i have this one it's just a little like shadow box looking thing, so that's what I'm gonna use for, for this. So hopefully this turns out the way that I envision it. So you can use the shiplack, you can draw, paint this white, paint your cardboard white and draw the lines on it with a pencil or a Sharpie and that works also. Um, this one already came shiplack the way it is so I'm just gonna use it like this, but that's just an extra step for you to do or you don't even have to do that. I mean, it's up to you. So the back of this, it, you can't, it really doesn't pick it up on camera, but you'll see it when I do a close up of it uh, when it's finished. But the back of this has like the worn tethered look to it already. I'm um, just going to cut it out. And um, if you don't find one that I just went on Google Images and cooked up or looked up um, the old Rugged Cross Lyrical and it was, it came out. So. I printed it out like this. You can tea stain it. You just get a tea bag that's um, you just get a tea bag that's wet and let it sit for a little bit so it starts to produce the tea bag color and wring it out and then just wipe it over your paper and let it dry and it'll do the same thing. So I'm just gonna cut this out and I'm not gonna be perfect with it. I don't want it to be perfect. Um, I want it to look like it's old and worn and, and tethered. Uh, I was going to burn the edges of it to give it that, you know, worn look, but I felt weird doing that because, <laughs> I mean, it's the old Rugged Cross song and I, yeah, I felt weird. So we're just going to do it this way and it's just, you know, cut out. However, I'm just going to stick it in the middle of my shiplock board and I'm gonna glue it down. My glue gun's already ready, I hope. Yeah, it is, okay. Um, I mean, you can use whatever. I just have the glue gun out right now. So I'm gonna use the glue gun, but I'm gonna place it here in the middle. And then you're gonna have something that looks like this. Okay, it's kind of coming up on this side, so let me, there we go. And of course I already burnt myself, so like this. Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna work on the picture frame now. This one was, I think it was gray and I painted it white because I had um, initials on this originally, but I'm going to rough it up with some, with a chip paint board, chip chip brush, chip brush. You can get these at Dollar Tree. But I'm gonna rough it up a little bit with some brown paint if I can find it. 
I haven't been, like I said, I haven't been in here in forever. So I have to find all my paint and things. I... So I can't find my brown, which of course, right? But I did find this, it's called Aged Copper. And I think it would look pretty cool on the back of this white. So we're gonna see if it does. And then the way you dry brush and age anything is just get it on a dry brush, wet, and then kind of like that. So you don't have a, a lot of paint on it. Oh yeah, that's gonna look cool. And then you just, I wish I had somebody in here to give a close up of this, <laughs> but, and if you get it on the glass, it's okay. I mean, I just usually, if I get it on the glass, I take some Windex or if your picture frame pops out more, the better, just pop out the, the glass and, and paint it. Um, there's some spots that I'll make look a little more aged than others. And then there's some spots that I'll just leave alone, like the corner edges and stuff. I'll usually put a little bit more paint on. Okay, so we have it'll look a lot better when <laughs> you're gonna want to clean the glass too. Um, then we're just going to you can do a little antique stain to your the back of your board too so it kind of ties in and then on the paper as well so it looks worn and tethered and you know gives it more dimension than just a plain white shiplap on the back of it and I did I'm doing it across the paper too see how now it looks worn and tethered on the edges of it, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna put it inside the glass. Okay, and then you're gonna have something like that. It looks like old barn wood, but mine has like a metallic finish to it because I'm using metallic paint, but you can use whatever paint you want. So after that's done, we're just going to put it back in our frame. So there you have it right there. So this is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna, I just went outside and picked up a stick that was laying outside. That's all I did. So I'm gonna try and break this into two small pieces to make a cross, so <laughs> that worked. This one I'll probably use like that. Crossways and then, yas. <laughs> this one, I'll use this way. And I'm gonna break off the little piece that's there. And I'm gonna kind of put it below I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna kind of put it below the old rugged cross, kind of like right there, like right there. Let's see, when the stores open back up, I will get to my six thousand. And then we're gonna take the little piece and just lay it right over the top. You can use super glue, you can use whatever you'd like. And we'll take this little piece and just lay it across the top. Yeah. 
that. And there you have it. It's not, okay, there you go. That's a little bit better. I'll insert a still shot of it up on the wall so that way you can really see it. I, the camera's not picking it up the way that it should. I don't understand why it does that, but I will insert a photograph of it over here and you can see the way, sorry. You can see the way that it looks. You don't have to use um, what I used. I mean, use a picture frame, anything like that. Just paint your, your cardboard white and shiplap it the way that you um, want it shiplapped. I mean, it's your craft. Do what makes you happy. Um, but I just figured this one right here, it's a good little thing to hang up on your wall for you know, especially at this time, it's just like a sign of hope that all of this will be over soon. But um, yeah, there you have it. I have some other ideas that I'm gonna uh, film probably tomorrow and the next day and I'll have them uploaded the same day. So yeah, that's it for this DIY. If you like what you saw, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I know that <laughs> I haven't posted videos in a very long time, but there are videos on there from two months ago that I uploaded pretty frequently. So if you wanna check any of those out, check those out. And I will be back probably tomorrow with another upload and DIY. So thanks guys, bye.